uh, we will see now how we can uh, create sections for this uh, list. Uh, first, I will show you that uh, this list is uh, sorted by each of its columns. Then I will select this column country and we will create sections based on this column. For that, we go to this button and then to section and section. And now we have separate section for each of the countries. Now, can we go back? Yes, we can. If we select this header and if we click again on this button and then on section and section, uh, we will uh, have a list once more. But there are three differences. First, position of this uh, column is not the same. So we have to move it here to its original position. Then this column country is grouped. So we have to ungroup it by using this button. And the last, we can see that this uh, list is no more sorted by each of its columns. But uh, we, if we add co column country uh, back to our sort order, in that case, we would get uh, the same list as we had at the start. Uh, we will now go back to that uh, section view. So I will again select this country column, click on this button and choose section and section because we want to memorize how this uh, section uh, view uh, looks like because uh, now what we want to achieve is to create uh, this uh, same view by hand. So every step we will do by hand and for that uh, we will jump down to page 2. Here we have uh, one list that is connected to uh, query 1 and then inside of this list uh, we will add another list like this. So we will add one list inside of other list. We will connect this inside list to query 1, 2. We will click on OK and then temporarily we will jump to page design. So this is what we have. We have one list inside of, of other list and then we will add a columns market region and state. Uh, to this inside list, but country column we will add to this outside list. Now we can group this uh, column here. We can click here to group it. And we know that if column is grouped, then we can create a list header. We go here to list headers and footers, and we will select a, a header for country column. When we click on OK, this looks like this. And then we will uh, select this country column and we will click on cut to remove this uh, column so it will be gone and now we can go back to uh, page preview uh, here we need to make several changes first I will select this outside list and I have a problem with this uh, header here I want to remove it and for that we go here to column titles and we change this option to height uh, then we want to change width of this outside list and we will go to size the overflow and we will change width to 100%. I will type here 100. Okay. Uh, then we can uh, go uh, to change some other things. Uh, first, we want to change some classes. So what is a class? Class is this property here. And class means that there are several attributes that we can change for some uh, element uh, at once. Let's uh, make an example. Here we have a list that is of class list table. And I want to change that. I will click here on three dots. I'll remove this uh, class list table. And instead of it, I will apply a, a, a new class that is called section uh, list. Let's find it. Here it is. We will add this class and we will apply this class. Then we will do the same for this header. I will select it. I will go here to classes. I will remove this old uh, class. And then again, we will go here where uh, section things are. And we will find a section uh, header cell. Here it is. We will add it as a class. And then we will select this body. And again, we will go here to three dots. We will remove this old class. And we will find a new class with uh, name section body. Here it is. We will add it. And this uh, already really look like original. But we have to change several things. First, we have to select uh, this inside uh, list and we have to sort uh, rows inside of this list. For that, we go here to uh, sorting, edit layout sorting, and we will add columns market region and state market uh, region and state to our sort order. I will click on OK. 
Now everything is sorted. Then we have to change this uh, header. For changing uh, things inside of this uh, cell, we have to unlock uh, our uh, cells. For that, we are using this padlock. I will click here. And then I will click here on Afghanist. Now, wh what is this? This is actually a text item. Uh, we can see that here. And for this text item, we are showing data item value from the column country. So here we can see values from this uh, column, but we can change this to uh, data item label. If we do that, then it will say only country. I will now turn this back to data item uh, value. And uh, uh, now I will add actually another text item here uh, in front of it. And uh, I will type anything here. For example, AA, I just need a placeholder. And then I will select this another, this new text item, and I will change this uh, to data item label. And so we will have a name of a column and then value from that column. And we want to add one more thing. We will again add this text item between these two uh, text items. And here we will just type uh, column and then space. So when you click on OK, we get the same look as in original section view.